Sorry. I couldn't go to that thing because they had a media dinner. So when I went to eat, we had at the Wolfgang Puck's restaurant. So I'm sitting there, and it's three seats. It was crowded. It was like long, these long tables. So it was three seats opposite me. And I look up. Who's sitting next to me, sitting across from me? Roberto Duran. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he looked great. He walks in because this movie's coming out in August. So he's there with his, with his daughter. And his English, I've interviewed him before. The English is okay, but he, he's telling stories, and I, I could, I'll keep this as clean as possible. But he was talking. Talk to him? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I was telling him a story when I when I first saw him fight in, in City College when he fought uh, Leonard. He was on close circuit. But he was telling the story when he when he came to New York. So, like he ate, he ate dinner, and he asked the guy, "Can I just have ice cream?" Because they were bringing out cake for this. I just v- vanilla ice cream. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted is vanilla ice cream. So when I was a kid and I was shining shoes trying to make money, I just saved my money so I could have vanilla ice cream. So he comes to New York, first big fight, and he's going walking through the city, and he comes to a guy on the street, and he's selling every flavor of ice cream. He told his match, I want every ice cream. I want a scoop of every ice cream. I said, no, 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 we got to fight after the fight. So he goes in, knocks out Ken Buchanan to win a lightweight title. Goes to some club in New York, and, and they said, I just want ice cream, vanilla ice cream. They bring him out to vanilla ice cream, and he's just scarred. I think he was trapped on an island somewhere. Yeah. Well, you know, we got no money. So he, I know, I know. The little luxuries in life. Jesus. Uh, so, so he gets the ice cream. He's scarfing the ice cream down. He's so happy. And a guy comes up to him and says, hey, champ, have, have you ever tried, ever tried champagne? And he's like, no, what's, what's champagne? Oh, you like it. They start pouring him a glass of champagne. Like, this ain't bad. He's drinking the champagne, drinking the champagne. Then all of a sudden... My stomach starts gurgling and making noises. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> I don't feel it. And ice cream. So he, he gets up, and this woman says, you got to dance with you. I got to dance with you. No, I'm like, I got I to gotta go to the bathroom. No, 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 I got to dance with you. I got to dance with you. So they're dancing, and he's trying to get away from her. She won't let him go, and, he, and she pulls himself close to him, squeezes the rand, and listens to say he has an accident. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Told you that? He told but he's he's telling the story through his daughter and she's turning and she's, telling. she's going red. We're all laughing and howling and he said I just kinda walked away from her and just just headed off to the bathroom. <laughs> I watched that I see you know, I saw a documentary on the fight, the Leonard fight with him and how, you know, disgraced he was. Yes. From you know, after that and uh yeah, it was it was interesting, uh, you know how you know how big he was. I mean, Mike, he was like a god. Man. He was. He's the best light like, whatever. So I still remember before the dude named Ray Lampkin uh, from he was Seattle, and he just beat the crap out of him. And Ray, and he was Ray Lampkin was an honest toes type of fighter, something like Leonard, but not as fast. He, and there's a picture of him coming off the airplane in Seattle in a wheelchair and both eyes swollen. And he's waving to the crowds. And when the fight was over, they, they asked Duran, because he knocked him out if he went around. And Duran said, I, I want to apologize to my fans because I had a cold and I really wasn't at my, my best. So I know I beat him up and they took him to the hospital. But if it had been my best, they would have took him to the morgue. I was like, oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. He was, he was a piece a, of audio right there. Oh, man. <laughs> I was on time with CBS. It was, but he was. But, and the funny thing, he's in great shape. And this is the weird thing: he and Julio Cesar Chavez are going to fight a two-round exhibition in Jul- uh, July twenty-seventh, I think it is, or twenty-third, whatever that Saturday is. Terrence so doesn't end up like Apollo Creed, and uh... no, I don't think so. It's it's, it's uh, on a Terrence Count, Terrence Crawford on the card. They're just doing it for because of the movie and everything. But I think the movie's been on the shelf for a while. But Usher is playing Sugar Ray. Robert De Niro's playing Ray Arcel, and I forget who's, they, they said the guy who's playing Duran was in the movie Joy. And I saw Joy, and I'm trying to figure out what part did this guy have, so I gotta go look at the movie, I don't remember. That should be interesting. Yeah, Hands of Stone. He was, he was something else. He was, um, funny. He was telling a funny story. I can't say any more. But... And mentally wise, he seems oh, like he's shocked. No. You, mean, you know when you, you some fighters they're going like whoa yeah, right. uh, uh, nothing he's just English Spanish English Spanish just 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 laughing and having a good old time and uh, uh, I was asking like you always order steak always steak and chicken uh, yeah let me have a steak, steak. with uh, vanilla ice vanilla ice right on top <laughs> <laughs> so that's some of the stories in in uh, Vegas Chavez was there too he looked in good shape but that it's surprisingly good shape and um, Duran looked like. 160 maybe i mean for, for his age that's that's for nothing hanging out right wait yeah yeah look good it was like it's funny 877 
Sixty-six. I'll tell you. I'm gonna come back and take some calls right after this.